Let's take a look at applying exponent rules, uh, scientific notation. Now we got our standard form, and um, then we also got our scientific notation. Boy, I'm not spelling very well this way right now. Scientific notation. Don't usually have trouble with that in class. <laughs> Okay, what we're going to have is we have a single digit, and this will be from 1 to 9. Then dot, and we'll have um, some more digits here. And we're going to drop off the trailing zeros. So any zeros at the very end, you drop off. Now that first digit can't be 0, by the way. It has between 1 and 9. And then this will be times 10 to a power. And that's our scientific notation. Now let's take a look at our first problem here. This is um, 315 million. There we go. And if I were to put a decimal place, it'd be right here. And the instructions say write each number in scientific notation. Um, now what we want is we want to move our decimal place until we just have a single digit and then a decimal, the decimal point. So I'll move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 places to the left. So this is going to be 3.15 and all these are trailing zeros, so I drop those off. And uh, times 10 to the 8th power. Now, um, me, I'm going to summarize these, each of these rules as we go along. So here we're going from standard to scientific. And if you move your decimal point to the left. So if you move your decimal point to the left, you're going to have 10 to a positive power. Now there's no doubt, no doubt how many decimal places you move it to, but it's whether it's going to be positive 8 or negative 8. Let's look at another example. This is going the other way. So we've got 0 0.123 Okay, now we want uh, our first digit to be between 1 and 9. So I'm going to move my decimal point uh, to the right until I get that. So move 1, 2, 3, 4 places. So we're going to end up with 5.17. Now you drop off the leading zeros also, and uh, it'll be times 10 to some power. Now um, we moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, wait a minute, 1, 2, 3, 4 places. So it's either going to be positive 4 or negative 4. Well, in this case it's going to be negative 4. And let me summarize that. So if we're going from standard to scientific, and you're moving your decimal point to the right, then you're going to have 10 to a negative power. Used to be a chemistry instructor here that uh, she taught it that um, this is the big number up here. So we'd want to put a positive 8 here, because 10 to the 8th is a big number. This is a small number, so we'd want to put a negative 4 here, because 10 to the negative 4 is a very small number. I thought that was kind of a neat way to think of it. It doesn't work if you've got kind of a number that's in between a large number and a small number, but uh, it handles most circumstances, instead of memorizing the, the rules. <coughs> Let's look at this one. Got 310. If I were to put a decimal point, it'd be right there. 
So um, I'm going to move it two places to the left. Right there. So we'd have 3.1, I'll drop off the trailing zeros, times 10 to some power. Well, moving it to the left, that's what we did right here. Moving decimal point to the left, it's going to be a positive power. So we move to two places, so this will be positive two. And these are answers. <coughs> this is one that might be kind of iffy. Um, move it to the left. Um, well, 310 is kind of a large number. Uh, and, you know, that's what I'm saying. Is it or is it not? Um, so 10 squared is a large number. Um, talking about dollars and yeah that's a pretty good pretty good uh, chunk let's go in the other way. let's look at some going the other way we got 7.18 times 10 to the positive 3 power now they say write each number in decimal notation that's the same as our standard form some books call it standard some call it decimal and here we're going to um, Here's 7.18, and we got third power. We want to move our decimal three places to the right. So one, two, three, and this is where our decimal point will be. And since I didn't have a digit here, I had to put a zero in there. So our answer is 7,180. Let me summarize this. Uh, we're going from scientific to standard. And um, if you got 10 to a positive power, then you move your decimal point to the right. So if you got 10 to a positive power, you move your decimal point to the right. <coughs> Let's take a look at another one here. We've got 3.2 times 10 to the negative 4. So here's 3.2, and we want to move it. Uh, it's negative 4, so we'll move it to the left. So move it 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is where my decimal will be. And I had to put zeros in here for these missing digits. So our answer is going to be 0 0.030032. Typically, you put a zero before the decimal, just so you don't lose track of it. Um, now here, we're going from scientific to our standard form, or decimal form. And we got 10 to a negative power. And we're moving our decimal point to the left. Okay. Um, using kind of a horse shortcut way of doing it, 10 to the third, that's a big number. That's like a thousand. Uh, well, this should be a big number. If I moved it to the um, if I moved it to the left, I'd have a very small number. Now 10 to the negative four, that's a small number. So this should be a small number. So that kind of tells you if you if you went the right way. And do I have those pages saved? Uh, let me see. Um, pretty sure I do, but let me check. Yes, I do. Okay. So we just start a new page. And let's look at our next problem. We got 7.8 times 10 to the seventh power, and we're writing our decimal notation, our standard form. Um, well, 10 to the seventh—that's a big number. So when I get done, I want a big number, which tells me, without even looking at like that chart, that I want to move it to the right. So move it seven places to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is where decimal will be. And for these missing digits, I want to put zero placeholders. So I'll have seven, eight, six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that gives us 78 million. <coughs> so 
Sometimes that's, uh, these are beneficial in calculations. 2 times 10 to the negative 2, and then 9 times 10 to the negative 3. Well, what that means at times, it means 2 times 10 to the negative 2. Nothing fancy. And I'll put parentheses around them to indicate multiplication. And this one means 9 times 10 to the negative 3. <coughs> Well, uh, multiplication is commutative, so I can flip these around. Put the 2 times 9 together. And then 10 to the negative 2 next to the 10 to the negative 3. 2 times 9 is 18. And 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the negative 3. When you're multiplying 10 to the number times 10 to the number, think of like when you had x's. x squared times x to the 4th. You added the exponents. Well, same thing here. We'll add these. Uh, negative 2 and negative 3 gives us negative 5. Now, this isn't in um, scientific form. Express your answer in scientific. Um, so we need to get it there. Well, let's first put it back uh, to normal form. Here's 18, and here's our decimal. 10 to the negative 5, that's a small number. If I moved it to the right, I'd have some huge number. So I want to move it to the left. So I'll move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's where our decimal will be. And I'll put zeros for these missing missing um, digits. So we've got point one two three one eight. Okay, let's put it back into scientific notation now. I want the first uh, digit on going from coming from the left that's not zero, which is one. So we'll have one point eight times ten to some power. Well, here's my decimal point. Move it one, two, three, four places. There's no doubt on what should be here. It's to the negative four. And that's our answer. Again, this is a very small number, so this has to be a small number. Not too bad of a way of thinking of, thinking of it, really. Let's take a look at this problem. We've got 30 million divided by 0 0.1235 five zeros. Yeah, five zeros. One, two, three, four, five, five times twenty thousand. It says perform the indicated operations, express your answer in scientific notation. Well, let's put them into scientific notation to begin with. So the top part is going to be three point zero times ten to some power. If I think where my decimal point is, it's right here. So I'll move it three, six, seven places to the left. So that'd be ten to the seventh. Again, this is a large number, so this should be a large number. Now here, this will be five point zero times ten to something. Well, this is a very small number, isn't it? So this should be a small number. So I know it's going to be a negative. Here's my decimal point, so I move it one, two, three, four, five, six places. So it'll be a negative six power. And this one will be two point zero times ten to something. Well, if I were to put a decimal point, it'd be right here. Twenty thousand is a big number, so this ten to the power should be a big number, so it should be positive. So I move it one, two, three, four. Okay. Well, let's put these up a little bit. Here we got 3 over 5 times 2. And um, then up here I got 10 to the 7th. Here I got 10 to the negative 6. And here I got 10 to the 4th. Now we covered these uh, before. We don't want any negative exponents. So that 10 to the negative 6, I'm going to take up on top. So that's going to go up on top. Now this gives us 3 and 5 times 2 is 10. Now I take the, um, I got 10 to the 7th here, take 10 to the negative 6 upstairs, becomes 10 to the positive 6. Remember when you move anything opposite where it's at in a fraction, the sign of the exponent changes. 
And 5 times 2 is 10. That's like 10 to the 1st. And here we got 10 to the 4th. Well, you got 10 to the power times 10 to the power. You're going to add the exponents. 7 plus 6 gives us 13. And down here, you got 10 to the 1st times 10 to the 4th. You add the exponents. So that gives us 10 to the 5th. <coughs> well, 10 to the power over 10 to the power. Remember, you subtract your smaller exponent from the larger one. 13 minus 5 gives us 8. And we have 10 to that power where the larger one was, which was up on top. When I say larger, I'm talking about the, in terms of the exponent. So larger exponent. And then you have one down here, which one would just give us 3 times 10 to the 8th. You don't have to put the point zero on there. Um, that's scientific form right there. All right, so that's uh, scientific notation. So let me stop the recorder.